How do air signs love? Now to review, when I'm talking about an air sign, I'm referring to either a Gemini, a Libran, or Aquarian individual. These people, I believe, are rooted in the fifth chakra, which is the energy center relating to communication. I feel that many air signs are looking for mates with whom they can have stimulating discussions where it's a meeting of the minds and that this would actually be more important to them than how the other person looks. The possible exception to this might be a Libran who has a tendency to value appearance uh, to a, an inordinate degree. But generally speaking, air signs are very much interested in the mental rather than when a person is approaching love from a mental plane, there's a tendency to not feel, but to intellectualize what is being felt. And this can cause a problem when an air sign is dealing with Because of this tendency of air signs to be rather detached instead of emotional, it would probably be best for them to hook up with fellow air signs. They're also very compatible with fire signs, but they have to deal with the passionate nature of the fire person. Fire and water signs are emotional, but fire signs tend to be passionate about ideals versus personal dramas. An earth sign person is also emotionally detached, but the air sign person might find it very frustrating to deal with the earth sign person who is very grounded and practical and likes learning things that they can put to use rather than abstract knowledge, which is an air sign's specialty. So the air sign person might not be very intellectually stimulated by an earth sign, although Virgos sometimes can, you know, rise to the challenge because they are ruled by Mercury and therefore they like to read and they like to communicate. And so that might be one sign that an air sign person can find some affinity for and with. In terms of water signs, I think it's safe to say that water and air are diametrically opposed. Water sign people are very personal and very emotional. So their emotions are connected to their subjectivity. They are not, you know, universal types of people. Although Pisceans can have such feelings, you know, such as sympathy for all of humanity. But in general, they tend to be very much concerned with their own tribe, their own inner circle over society as a whole. And air signs are exactly the opposite. They prefer the group to the individual. Both water and air tends to be very much into other people. It's just that air signs like to meet new people, like to be in large groups of people, 
And water signs tend to be more private and more exclusive in their social interactions. What I would suggest that people do when they're, they're looking at potential mates is to look at both the sun sign of the potential mate and the Venus sign. And I say this for both genders. It is said that for males, the, the sign that Venus is in shows the kind of woman that the male is attracted to. And that for women, it's the Mars sign. But I haven't found that to be true for me at all. And it could be that I have more yang or masculine energy, so I naturally resonate more with the Venus sign. Maybe some women who feel more feminine would, you know, indicate their attraction to men with their Mars sign. So I don't claim to have all the answers on that one, but look to Mars and Venus and the sun sign, because I think that sometimes you will see that certain people are attracted to something that is totally opposite, an energy that is totally opposite what they are supposed to be interested in as a sun sign. For instance, let's say you have a man who's a Taurus, but he has his Venus in Gemini. He might find himself attracted to air or fire signs, but particularly witty people who stimulate him intellectually. And yet he's supposed to be this Taurus guy who is just interested in, you know, a, a sexual relationship when it comes to a woman, that he's a very basic kind of guy, but he might have a Venus in an air sign like Gemini. Well, I should say for, for a Taurus person, it, it won't be very far from Taurus. So it will have to be a Gemini if it's going to be an air sign. In terms of an air sign getting together with a water sign or earth sign individual, neither of which elements are ideal for an air sign, it should be noted that sometimes people get married and start families for reasons other than true love. Sometimes, you know, one person sees the other as a good provider or, a, you know, a potentially good parent material and they override the love stuff and they you know if there's a air sign woman and she wants to get married and start a family she may know some earth sign guy and she sees how stable he is and that he's a good provider and all of a sudden all those other things like being able to talk with him until three in the morning and you know him stimulating her intellectually go out the window because she has the desire for a family and you know i should note that air sign people want families too maybe not a hundred percent of them but no one sign wants a family a hundred percent so those people who are air signs who want a family, they may very well pick somebody who's an earth sign or a water sign because they may see some of their fellow air signs or fire signs as being too flaky. The only thing that I would say in those cases is there might be a bit of a clash in terms of their ability to really communicate and to really feel that they're on the same wavelength. So they might do better when they have their children to focus on than when they're trying to interact one-on-one. -on -one. Personally, I couldn't be in that sort of relationship because I can't throw away the intellectual stimulation 
for practical considerations. But some people can because of what their heart desires. And it's not for me to say that, that that's not appropriate because I might not have the same values that that person has. And, um, you know, I've never raised a family, so that's not something that matters to me. But for, you know, someone who does want to do so, they have to look at the other person. Is this person stable? So in any case, I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that we should look at every aspect of what a relationship entails. And sometimes one part of it comes into focus more than the other. I wanted to give the example of Mick Jagger because Mick Jagger has gone through quite a few women, some of them even his wives. <laughs> and it struck me that the ones that I have known about are either air or earth signs, and he's a fire sign. He's a Leo. And I said, why does he keep attracting water and earth signs? Now, he is born close to the cusp with cancer, but I don't think, and he, he does have a moon in Taurus, but I looked at his Venus sign, and it's in Virgo. So this is a classic case of somebody who is attracted to a practical, earthy type of woman, but he's still a Leo at the end of the day. And, you know, Mick Jagger should try out, you know, Sagittarius woman or a Gemini woman. He has Gemini rising. Anything but a water or a sign at least for a while, to see if there's any difference in how he relates to these women. So just wanted to talk about how air signs interact in a love relationship. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.